I love it. Me too. Gets mm -hmm. you in the spirit. I, don't, don't. <laughs> I love it. All right, so it's opening day for baseball at the Dow Diamond in Midland, where the Great Lakes Loons will take on the Lansing Lugnuts. That's today at 6.05. Yeah, I was there this morning, all morning long, with a preview of this year's roster. So check it out right now. It's the 16th season of the Great Lakes Loon, so I hope you're ready for opening nights. And we have Brad Tooney here, who is play-by-play -play broadcaster here at Dow Diamond. So thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what your expectations are for the season. Well, thanks, Blake. Uh, I think another great roster has been placed here by what we feel is the class of Major League Baseball in the form of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Six top 30 prospects, that's always what headlines uh, the roster for folks. And in particular this year, another in the long lineage of what we feel is, again, some of the best catching prospects in all of baseball. So if you have sons or daughters out there as a catcher, we've got some of the best talent in the country prospect-wise to showcase. Many years ago, Will Smith was with us out of Louisville, was a top draft pick by the Dodgers. Last year, we had the top catching prospect in all of baseball in Diego Cartaya. This year, next in that line is Dalton Rushing. He was the Dodgers' first overall pick a season ago. He'll be a mainstay in the middle of the order. The other prospect worth highlighting is the guy that will be on the mound tonight, big six-foot, seven-inch Ronan Cop left-hander and for Harden Loons fans or for Dodger fans that know what Clayton Kershaw looks on the mound this guy is Kershaw light with a big leg kick big high hold he is really exciting and the youngest pitcher on the roster too oh I would be intimidated at the uh, plate that's for sure so tell us uh, a little bit who else are you excited about what are we what are we looking at uh, a couple of local products, too, in particular. It's good to see guys that were homegrown in Michigan. One uh, that was born in Michigan, down in Birmingham. He attended uh, Birmingham Brother Rice High School, went on to play at Michigan State University, and is a bit of a redemption story for us this year. He was drafted by the Dodgers in 2018, but has not pitched since 2019, between the COVID off year in 2020 and two years fighting Tommy John surgery. Mitchell Taransky is back, a uh, Spartan, so we're happy to have him, a uh, pitcher coming out of our bullpen. And then Griffin Lockwood Powell who's an older guy in the system right now, but played just down the road at Central Michigan University for one of the best and most successful uh, years in their program history. He touches down in Midland this year as well. This is pretty awesome, too. I love, of course, a Michigan native to the team. Tell us a little bit about what you uh, expect uh, for the Lansing Lugnuts tonight. Oh boy, so Lansing is kind of our in-state in rival, right? We start the season with them. It's always a good little travel partner for us. They're an Oakland Athletics affiliate. Uh, last year, the Loons typically hit very well against them. They're always high-scoring games. So this weekend, despite the cold weather, maybe uh, some more poor pitching from Lansing generates a lot of offense for the Loons. That's at least what we're hoping for. I want to keep talking about our roster this year because uh, they're, uh, my understanding, 16 returning players. And does that aid or what? what what does that do for the team? Sure. So 16 players that were with us during the regular season a year ago and two rushing and an outfielder for us, Jake Vogel, who were spectacular in low A, uh, Rancho Cucamonga. So 18 total players returning from last year's team that touched uh, ground here at Dow Diamond, at least for an inning or two. Uh, and I think more so than anything, it's, it's guys that are familiar with the weather here, in particular, a northern climate and a northern league in minor league baseball. It's important for them to be uh, situated in that way. But also just comfort with the coaching staff, with a, a couple of returners on the coaching staff, comfort with the league in terms of the talent. So guys that are returning from a season ago, whether they struggled or performed really well, already kind of have a beat on how to be successful at this level, which hopefully bodes well for early season success here. And talk to me about the coaching staff this year and what that might look like. So I think it's as, as talented in terms of major league talent that we've had on the staff in my history here. Three former big leaguers on the staff is, is really cool to have just from a baseball fan perspective, right? So Daniel Nava was a World Series winner in 2013 with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, it's his first year managing in the Dodgers organization, but has been coaching uh, in rookie ball for the last couple of seasons. Okoye Dixon, another returning player. So again, Harden Loons fans who saw him hit a ton of home runs here in 2013 and then make it to the bigs is our hitting coach this this year and Elian Herrera who has uh, been with us for three seasons now but a former player another big leaguer he was in the inaugural 2007 season uh, those guys kind of headline the group but David Anderson Richard De Los Santos are our pitching coaches we set a franchise record a season ago for most strikeouts in franchise history those were the two guys that led it so we're happy to have them back too well, sounds very promising this year it, it is and we're very excited okay Brad I appreciate your uh, expertise this morning thank you thanks Blake appreciate okay, it yeah, of course you could go get tickets at loons.com we also have have a link for you in the hot link section on our website, WNEM.com.